As you probably know, I'm always telling my students to slow down, take your time, don't rush, don't spray and pray. A thousand crappy pictures do not add up to one really good one. I just want you to know that I am walking that talk along with you. Might not be photography, but it's something I'm really uncomfortable with and it's really frustrating. As my YouTube channel documents in all its painful reality, my weight has gone up and down and up and down over the years. And all your wonderful questions about how I lost over 10 stone, I think that's 165 kilos, more importantly how I've maintained it over the last three or so years, inspired me to revive a project, a book project I thought of maybe eight years ago and to make that into reality. It's quite a scary choice because I knew I'd have to relive some very uncomfortable experiences and I was worried I wouldn't be able to bring them all the exciting good stuff to life in a meaningful way so that it would communicate something to you. Those experiences have between them contributed to me being the photographer I am today and doing what I do today so I wouldn't be without them for the world. But it's a learning curve, it's a difficult learning curve and a difficult journey. I think the important thing is once we choose a path we need to stick with it. I didn't know where the path would lead. I didn't know that I'd have so much encouragement from you guys and I thank you for that. I didn't know that someone would give me a, a little apartment in this wonderful development here in Spain so I could come here for a week and get stuck in without any interruptions. Lots of you have said, when's the book going to be published, Mike? I don't know, this is going to take time, longer than I thought. I'm dyslexic, I type painfully slowly. So every single day I'm having to confront my own crapness and it drives me nuts. I've tried voice typing, you know, the dictate speech recognition thing. I find it actually slower because it picks up all my ramblings and all my stumblings and... I don't notice when it's made a mistake and then when I eventually do go back and pour over it, it takes longer than just stabbing away with two fingers, so I'm sticking to the stabby method for the time being. It's tricky, it really is tricky and I guess I'm only saying this because I just want you to know that just because I've got a big flashy website and quarter of a million followers on YouTube etc, I go through the same stuff that you do. There's nothing special, we're all just people. I think the key to achieving what it is we want is choosing a path and sticking with it. Somebody really brilliant, I don't remember who it was, it was Einstein or someone like that, I don't know, um, said it's not that they're so smart, it's just that they stick with the problem longer. We have to cultivate patience and, and that's not easy. I'm really suffering with it right now. So stick with the path guys, just keep going, just keep going and you'll get there in the end. As the book progresses, I will give you little updates from time to time. I will, of course, keep posting, you know, the regular videos that I do, you know, the normal stuff, the stuff about photography, and I'll be sharing more ideas. Uh, I should have a good one for you, I think, later this week. Anyway, I'm just sharing that moment with you. I'm going to go back over there and go do some writing.